In this video, we examine four healthy methods to approach and appreciate isolation, including acting as your own best friend, daydreaming about your perfect future, practicing meditation, and pursuing your aspirations. The human animal has an inherent predisposition for engagement in social activity. Because we are social beings, we seek out the companionship of other people and the interactions we have bring us comfort, reassurance, and delight. We gain a sense of belonging from our social connections, which in turn assists us in better defining who we are within the larger framework of society. However, there is another side to this story, and that is the significance of being alone, a state that is sometimes disregarded or misinterpreted in our socially focused worldview. The ability to be alone without experiencing feelings of loneliness is a necessary component of healthy personal development. It gives us a break from the continuous input of the opinions and attitudes of other people, which enables us to turn our attention inside, comprehend our own thoughts and feelings, and get in touch with our own selves. Achieving mastery over the art of isolation develops emotional self-sufficiency, a skill that improves mental health and general life happiness when practiced regularly. In spite of the fact that spending time by oneself may at first appear to be difficult, particularly for people who flourish when they are in the company of others, embracing solitude can open the way for self-discovery and personal development. Let's begin. Number one, you should always be your own best friend. Quite frequently, we are our own most severe critics. We are quick to criticize ourselves for our errors, but we tend to overlook our accomplishments, no matter how modest they may be. One of the ways that one might improve their relationship with themselves during times of loneliness is to train themselves to become their own best friend. This involves being kind to yourself, respecting yourself, and showing yourself the same amount of affection that you would give to your closest friend. When you find yourself in the position of having made a mistake, rather than being critical of yourself, show yourself the same level of understanding that you would give to a close friend. Encourage yourself to think positively, Make a list of your accomplishments, your strengths, and the traits you most admire in yourself. Put them in writing and remind yourself of them on a regular basis. Find activities that you take actual pleasure in, things that make you happy for no reason other than you being pleased. Spend some time doing the things that bring you joy, whether it's gardening, painting, reading a book, making your favorite food, or even just watching a movie. Number two, visualize the perfect version of your future. The stress and bustle of day-to-day -day living often leaves us with little time to think about our long-term goals and the strategies we may employ to work towards achieving them. The freedom from interruptions and other people's opinions that come with being alone in nature makes solitude an ideal setting for daydreaming about the future. What does your perfect future hold in store for you? Is living in the country a quiet and relaxing lifestyle? Or how about the hustle and bustle of a big metropolis combined with a challenging career? Have you ever fantasized about writing a book or going on a trip around the world? Invest some time in imagining these goals and defining some attainable objectives on the path to obtaining them. Keeping a journal is a great method to put all of these ideas and plans down on paper. You will find, with the passage of time, that these periods of time spent thinking alone can eventually provide the impetus for some of the most important decisions and accomplishments of your life. Number three. Take some time to meditate. The practice of meditation is an effective method that can help one become more conscious, less stressed, and more at peace with themselves and their surroundings. It enables us to develop a profound connection with our own selves and provides us with insights that may otherwise be obscured by the din of many outside forces. To get started, find a calm area where you won't be interrupted and move there. You might begin by concentrating on your breath, or by following a guided meditation that was produced by a reputable organization. You should begin meditating for a few minutes each day, and as you become more accustomed to the practice, you should gradually extend the amount of time you spend meditating. Keep in mind that the objective is not to completely rid yourself of all thoughts and feelings, but rather to develop the ability to observe them without attaching any value to them. You will discover with continued practice of meditation that it provides a greater awareness of yourself which in turn enables you to better manage how you react to a variety of situations. Number four, don't give up on your dreams being by yourself can be a very freeing experience since it affords you the opportunity to pursue whatever it is that truly excites you 
without the interference or competition of others. Do you want to become proficient at playing the guitar? Don't hold back. Do you have a way with words, whether it be poetry or stories? Put everything that's in your head down on paper. Have you been daydreaming about launching your own company? Now is the time to begin making your plans. Spending time by yourself gives you the opportunity to learn about and develop hobbies and passions that you were previously unaware of. You have the opportunity to delve into various facets of your personality and find original ways to communicate who you are. In conclusion, finding solace in one's own company demands a degree of introspection as well as a change in point of view. Our culture places a strong emphasis on maintaining contact with others, leading many of us to feel that consistent participation in social activities is the norm. This narrative may give the impression that being alone is difficult or even hazardous. However, if we take the time to cherish our own company and view our isolation as an opportunity rather than a challenge, we will be able to tap into the full potential of our alone time. Being by oneself can help us gain a better awareness of our strengths and limitations, as well as our desires and our concerns, and this can happen when we spend time alone. It frees us from the interruptions of the outside world, allowing us the opportunity to pursue our goals, daydream, and contemplate in peace. Additionally, it deepens our gratitude practice, cultivates self-compassion, encourages intellectual curiosity, and creates a stronger relationship between us and nature. When taken together, each of these components has the potential to have a meaningful effect on the development of our unique selves as well as the quality of our lives. We can become the best companions for ourselves, as well as folks who are more resilient and emotionally self-sufficient if we cultivate a healthy connection with isolation. In this light, solitude is not something to be afraid of, but rather a skill that should be nurtured and treasured after it has been acquired. Let us embrace isolation and appreciate the one-of-a-kind path to self-discovery that it provides, which will ultimately lead us to a life that is more balanced, content, and fulfilling.